Somewhere to believe in. Christmas Eve morning is very busy at the North Pole. Rudolph checks his nose is red. Elves prepare the magic sled, and the last letter to Santa is read. Suddenly, all the work stopped, and everyone looked at Santa. A tear trickled from his eye. He held a letter to the sky, and asked the elves, "Oh why, oh why?" The letter was from a little girl that wanted a sewing kit to mend her teddy bear, but Santa found with great distress the little girl had no address, so where she lived he could not guess. Santa packed his sleigh with presents, but swore he wouldn't deliver any until he'd found the little girl. Through the clouds the reindeer flew, where exactly no one knew, but Santa's letter held a clue. In the letter. The little girl said she broke her teddy's eye playing with Alice in Wonderland. This was a very peculiar boast, but Santa travels coast to coast and knows the landmarks more than most. And so it was that Santa landed next to the Alice in Wonderland statue in Central Park, New York. But the little girl could not be seen. No sign of where she might have been. Then a raccoon said, "Hi, I'm Dean." It is a little-known fact that raccoons have a most excellent memory. Dean remembered the other day a little girl who came to play that had a kind and gentle way. A little girl with a one-eyed teddy had given Dean the last bite of her hot dog. The hot dog man was useful too. He had knowledge sad but true, that broke poor Santa's heart in two. The little girl's mother would save up all month to buy her daughter lunch in Central Park. The family had no cash to spare. They didn't have a home to share, but had to live and sleep somewhere. The little girl slept in special places for families without homes. From shelter to shelter, he shot through the air, pushing the reindeer as hard as he dare, until they discovered the girl and her bear. The little girl thanked Santa for her gift and proclaimed this was the best Christmas ever. But something still bothered her, for the little girl was not alone, and Santa felt he must atone for all the children without a home. When Santa saw how many children didn't have a house to deliver presents to, he almost despaired. But the girl's brain was as big as her heart. She said tonight was just the start if the spirit of Christmas plays its part. As the children opened their presents and the little girl fixed her teddy bear, Santa felt the joy of giving. And he knew what the little girl meant. The gift of giving is heaven sent, so everyone can feel content. So Santa decided he would find lots of helpers to bring Christmas spirit to the little girls and boys without a home. And if reading this book you're wondering who will help these children, here's a clue. Just look in the mirror because it's you. Somewhere to believe in is a children's book written to raise money for Win, a charity for homeless women and children. Please donate what you can by visiting our website.